Well, hi, it's me, Tom, again. This time we're going to talk about some of the extreme weather events we can experience here in Virginia. And that's what makes Virginia unique because we have all kinds of extreme weather that we're exposed to here. Living in Virginia gives us a unique opportunity to experience all kinds of extreme weather. Sometimes we get strong thunderstorms and sometimes out of those thunderstorms you'll get a rotating column of air. That's known as a tornado. We get tornadoes in Virginia. Another extreme weather event we get in Virginia are hurricanes and tropical storms. That's what the symbol for those look like. Hurricanes and tropical storms usually form over the ocean and then they'll move inland to Virginia bringing heavy rains and gusty winds. Also in Virginia, we could get a lot of rain, as you know, and sometimes we can get a lot of rain over a very short amount of time. In fact, your rain gauge sometimes might fill up in just a couple hours. If that's the case, we can get something called a flash flood. A flash flood is when you get too much rain over very little time and flooding occurs. That's very dangerous. This specific day, we had a flash flood warning from all the rain we were getting that day. Now, the opposite of a flash flood or any kind of flooding is called a drought. A drought happens when it doesn't rain over a long period of time. A flash flood, it's a lot of rain over a short period. A drought is no rain over a long period. Sometimes months go by and there's no rain. Parts of our country are under an extreme drought right now. They've not had a lot of rain. In case there is extreme weather like a tornado, here's some good things to keep in mind. Take shelter in a basement or the lowest level possible. I know a lot of you do not have basements, so sometimes under a kitchen table or something like that at the lowest level of your house is best. Put a lot of space between you and the outside walls, maybe a couch or something like that near your table. Or you can always go into a closet. The good thing about a closet, sometimes there's lots of coats or pillows you can hide under, and those are, might be a hallway closet or even in the bathroom or a bathtub with lots of pillows. But stay away from windows. It's good to have an emergency kit on hand just in case of severe weather because sometimes you can lose your power, you can lose access to water as well, as well as food. Sometimes you can't run out and get food. So here's some things that you should always have in an emergency kit. First of all, some kind of first aid kit, either a big one or a small one, just enough to at least help you out if you get some cuts or abrasions. I think the most important is batteries because batteries will power a flashlight usually and it's good to have several flashlights. Sometimes one in every room is a good idea and test them periodically as well. Water probably one of the most important things. A to drink or if you need to clean something. This kind of water in the bottle is great for drinking. Sometimes it's also good to fill up your bathtub when you know a hurricane or something may be coming and you can always use that water as well. And of course, canned foods. Canned foods will stay forever almost. And it's great to have something you know you can eat no matter how much time you are without power. Now that you've seen some of the extreme weather we do get here in Virginia, it's always best to stay on guard. Check out your local news to see what may be happening next on any watches or warnings that may be coming your way so that you can act and stay safe during severe weather.